hello my beautiful butterflies and welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video I'm gonna share with you all the things I have a little bit of a collective haul here for you but before we do that you know the drill you guys let's do a little bit of housekeeping just in case you're interested so before we start off this video though quick disclaimer um trying to sit back a little bit on this video because i film in natural light right beside a window over here so if i push forward like this it's going to wash me out a little bit just because it's really sunny outside and it's hot might i add um so yeah just wanted to let you know that's why i'm kind of trying to sit back a little bit so you'll be able to see everything so hopefully that works out okay so starting with housekeeping one of the things that I wanted to share with you that I incorporated in my look today that's part of this haul that I did a YouTube short on already when I unboxed it was this beauty right here from Chanel. And if you can see right here, it looks like a little shopping tote. I thought this box was so cute. But when you open it up, it has four items from Chanel along with a little makeup pouch. So this collection came with two different boxes. So it came with a green one and it also came with an orange one. This is the Chanel makeup takeaways. I got the one in the city break. And here is the little pouch that it comes with which reminds me of a little lunch bag so it like rolls up here and then you can put your items down in there so let's get into my look for today and i'll tell you what i used on my face from this city break collection and so first let's start off with my foundation of the day one of my favorites from chanel and this is the Love Beiges Water Fresh Complexion Touch, which y'all, look at my bottle, y'all. I have the tiniest little bit, not even probably enough to do a full face. So this is one of my favorite summertime foundations just because it's so lightweight, you guys. And it feels like nothing on and you get the coverage with it as you need so this is what I have on my face again it's one of my favorite which is why I have a backup right here there's what it actually looks like when it's fresh and it's new and then it also comes with a little brush here that you can use to put it on with and I'm in the shade B50 for reference if you're my skin tone. Now let's talk about these eyes. From this City Break box, I use the Ombre Premier Lac, which is just Chanel's liquid eyeshadow. There is the information right there from the box. This is shade number 833 Grasshopper. And here is what Grasshopper looks like. Right there. It's a beautiful shimmery lime green as I would describe it. It is so gorgeous. I just swept that all over my lid you guys so with chanel's liquid lax you do have to work really quick with them i tend to work with my finger and a brush so when i first go in i'll put some like on my lid and i'll work it all over my lid with my finger and then i'll take the little applicator and put more like on the top part of my lid just to bring it out more and then you guys on that second application I'll wait until it gets a little little bit tacky 
so that it doesn't move around and then I'll just blot it out with a little brush or my fingers either way works but that is what I have all over my lid today and then as for my liner underneath my eyes it's from Chanel actually all the facial products I use today is from Chanel this is one of their eyeshiner liner coals this one is in the shade dream leaf and it is also a beautiful green shade and so here is what that liner looks like in dream leaf and it is sparkly it's a beautiful lime green as well with the hint of sparkle and then to it. next as for my mascara today y'all know the one from chanel that i would use and this is the number 10 la volume de chanel and again one of my favorite mascaras to wear this is always in my rotation i have a few mascaras that are always in my rotation and they are always repurchases so i definitely have repurchased this a dozen of times you guys so and next for my blush today a oldie but goodie from chanel this was a limited edition and this is brun russi It's such a gorgeous like burnt terracotta shade on me and I absolutely love this one. I'm so glad I picked this one up when this came out. Again, this was a limited edition some time ago. The next item, also a limited edition and an old favorite and it is the Camellia Flower one and I have it highlighting my areas here on my cheek my nose this one here is so unique because it has that champagne -y gold like undertone but also with a touch of pink in it so it leans pink as well and the sparkles and it's just so unique so i'm glad i have this one too and then next one of the items that i used also to like dab a little bit more on my cheek and i used it right up here on my brow bone is another item i love to use and you can use it like all over your face and this is one of chanel's essential balms this is the latest one that i had that came in that mermaid collection i'll um, link everything down below um I can't recall the name right now. I think it's like Mermaid Glow, but if you can see it, it has all those beautiful sparkles in it. Again, the lighting might wash it out, you guys, but it's so, so beautiful. And yeah, I just highlight it like right here and I put a little bit on my cheeks. I also use these as lip glosses. Again, you can use them all over your face. So I definitely love this. So I have that on as well. So with my lips today, y'all know, this is not my comfort zone. The new colors are, but I'm trying to branch out and I do use bright colors when I'm going out at night. Um, and I want something bright on my lips when my eyes are not like this. They, they are like a neutral eye played down basically not a lot of eyeshadow on my lids so that's when i'll play up my lips and i'll wear like a red or pink that's bright and so this is where this orange one is going to fall into place as well so that's what i'm rocking on my lips today and y'all know that is what made me pick up this box right here is the eyeshadow being green and this lippy right here having two of these in that box both of them are colors i wouldn't wear on the regular but again i was intrigued by this bright orange which i think looks gorgeous what do you guys think and these ultra to new lipsticks y'all know uh, by far one of my favorite lipsticks not just from Chanel 
my favorite lipstick, you guys. If I'm going to wear a lipstick, this is going to be it. Especially if I'm going out or I'm going to an event that I don't want to keep reapplying or anything like that. Y'all, this is my lipstick. Because it ain't going to budge. It ain't going to move. You could wear it matte like I did today, which means you just don't put on this gloss. Or you can wear a glossy finish and add the gloss. Either way, it stays on and does not budge. Y'all, when I say you kiss somebody and you don't see nothing, you ain't going to see nothing. Like I'm not messing up my white shirts or anything with this lipstick on. When I wear white, I try to put on this lipstick because I know it's not going to transfer off if I accidentally like hit my face on my shirt or anything like that. It ain't budging. My favorite shade is a nude shade called Mary Rose, but I have tons of these, y'all. And to add two more is why I purchased this set. So anyways... That is my lipstick. As for my fragrance today, y'all, it's one that I'm testing out from Chanel, and it is beautiful. And I was sent these samples of this fragrance from my essay just so I can test it out to see if it's full bottle worthy for me. And y'all, I'm leaning yes on this one. And the fragrance I'm wearing today is this sample here and it's called Comet you guys. I spoke about this on a reel before. This one you guys I'm gonna spray a little bit more. This one yes. It definitely when you spray it it has that Chanel DNA but y'all when it begins to dry down it smells very girly and playful and whimsical. I'm just getting that from this fragrance mixed with that Chanel DNA. It's just really something that I've never smelled before that is so, so pleasant. And so like right now, the sweetness is coming out of it. That's what gives it like this playful feel to me. And then it leans into being something of a gourmand type of feel. Y'all, it's just so complex in that way. And that's why I'm loving it so, so much. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and get the full bottle of this. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, complex fragrance that I'm loving. Next, y'all, on my ears today, I have another oldie but goodie from Chanel. And these are the Chanel Turnlock CC earrings. I picked these up because they match the turn lock on my Chanel bag. And just being very classic, I felt. The turn lock ain't going nowhere. This is a classic pair of earrings to invest in. So they are a little bit weighty than most of the other Chanel earrings. But they are gorgeous you guys these are in like a light gold finish they're absolutely gorgeous i love wearing them and then on my neck today i am just wearing this necklace with my initial t on the lock right here if you can see that and i think i picked this one up from amazon and my bracelet I have on today is from Louis Vuitton and it's the Fasten Me bracelet here. Oldie but goodie again in the monogram print. And then the top I have on today, it's green, it's from St. John's Bay and I've shared with you a lot of the colors that I picked up in this cute little top. It's just easy and I just have it on with a pair of shorts. And then lastly, y'all, my bag of the day. And I cannot, cannot express to you enough how this has just been my perfect bag. And I don't even want to change out of it, you guys. I have been wearing it since I purchased it, y'all. And this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy in the monogram 
size 20. Y'all, I dressed her up. She is looking gorgeous. I wrapped her handles with my bandeau. So I have a different bandeau on each side, if you could see that. I added a luggage tag as a charm because you know the charms are back in, y'all. And I have my strap on it that I told you would be my everyday strap with this bag. And y'all, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how much I'm enjoying this. So, so much, y'all. And here she is with my daily essentials in it. And... Why don't we do a quick what's in my bag? Because these are my daily essentials. So I have those Prada sunglasses that I shared with you guys, which I'm going to put on today when um, I leave here because I am running out. So I have those. I have a hand sanitizer over here. Never leave without that. I have my Chanel wallet here. You've already seen that. I have my Louis Vuitton key pouch, which I never use this for keys. I always use it for coins or cards, things like that, hair ties, that type of thing. I never put keys in here because I always use my key holder, which is the only thing that's an essential that I don't have in here along with my phone because I normally grab those on the way out the door and they're just not in here. And so next in here, I just have this little pouch and it has mints and Tic Tacs in it. And then lastly, I have my little catch-all, which right now I'm using my Chanel um, iridescent little mini O case. And this is in a beautiful iridescent like purple, but it hints... Um, like green in it as well so that is it that is it that's in my bag that goes with me every day but y'all i've been loving this bag it is so easy just to grab and go and have all of my things and it holds the perfect amount of items in there y'all i do have the nano but this would be my perfect size that is the handbag I'm rocking today, y'all, and absolutely loving it. Okay, so now that we got housekeeping over with, let's finish off sharing with you the city box. So again, you got the liquid eyeshadow that I use right here and here. Then inside of this box right here, was a nail polish shade 832 which i have not done my nails in a while you guys but i shared with you how this polish looked on a little short so i'll insert that just in case you haven't seen it and then over here were the two lippies and the first one is shade number 835 erotica in that ultra to new formula that i love and this second one is shade number 834, the fondue, which gives me like a 90s vibe. It's a deep, deep chocolate. You know, we used to wear this shade back in the 90s. And y'all, I am scared of this one, but I'm going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work for lipstick for me, I'm going to use it as a liner is what I'll use it for but I'm quite scared but you know we'll give it a shot and see how it is I'm gonna have to do another video and share with you how this shade looks on me and let you guys be the judge of what you think because it is quite dark but we're gonna give it a shot y'all that's a swatch of it right there but you know I love this formula. So, yeah, I'm going to give this chocolate shade a try. And I'm going to let y'all be the judge of it. So, and don't be afraid to tell me it's not my shade. I mean, you can tell me anything just in a nice way. 
You know how to tell people if you don't like something in a nice way. We do positive over here. Just say simply, I don't think that's the shade for you. You just don't have to be rude about it. So, anyways, that was the items along with the pouch in this exclusive box right here. So, that was the first item I wanted to share with you. So, all of the items. Here's the two lippies. Here is the nail polish. Here is the eyeshadow. All rolled down in this cute little, I say, lunch bag. And it is so nice and squishy and you can travel with this and it's very nice and shimmery. It's a nice shimmery green. So that was the first item I wanted to share with you. I was in Nordstrom's recently and I picked up two new nail polishes because I haven't painted my nails in a while and they had two new ones. Um, from their new collection that I picked up. The first one is right here. It's shade 181. And yeah, this was the one that I used the tester on. And I was quite impressed by it. This is a nice pearly pink shade. And what I liked about it, it was thick. Like my first coat wasn't really light as they normally are. So, I liked that it was so thick. And then the next one I picked up is this beautiful green that was part of that new collection. And I can't wait to wear this one. It reminds me of the eyeshadow that I have on. Hopefully, you can see it with me doing that. And it has this pearly like finish to it. And so next, I want to share with you this new eyeshadow palette I picked up from Natasha Denona. And it's the I Need a Warm palette. Right here, you guys. I'm so excited for this one because I purchased the I Need a New palette when it came out. I end up returning that one because when I tried it out, you guys, the shades was too cool tone for me. I kind of knew that going in, but I still wanted to give it a try because it had a few warm tones in there. But it was just too cool tone for me, and I'm a warm tone girl when it comes to eyeshadows. So I'm glad she listened to us brown girls who love warm tones and gave us a palette as well. So I'm so excited. So this one is more warm tone with maybe a few cool tones in it. So it looks like that. And yes, I know this is going to be a nice go-to, you guys. Look at all those beautiful warm tones in there. So gorgeous, you guys. So I can't wait to try this out. So you'll definitely be getting a look with that. And then when I ordered that palette, um, Ulta was having one of those deals where if you spent over a certain amount, if your item I think was over $60, you got a whole like um, bundle of goodies. And one of the items I wanted to share with you in there, most of them was sample, but one of the items was a full size item from Laura Mercier, which I have not used her translucent powder in a while since I've been using Charlotte Tilbury. That has been my go-to, but I used to use her translucent powder like this. This was one I had in my little travel bag, but Ulta gave me free with that purchase another translucent powder from her, but in a pressed form. So it looks like this and it has a mirror on one side, but that is the press form of the powder. So I can't wait to try this out and I'm glad I got it as a freebie. And if I want, I can travel with it because I prefer a pressed powder over a loose powder. 
so I was happy to have that. The other item I picked up from there was another Natasha Denona. And this is her Golden Highlighter Trio. Now y'all know how I feel about a highlighter, which is why I buy so many. So again, I picked this one up from Ulta. And that's what it looks like. And y'all, you get a mirror on one side, which is still covered. And you get three highlighters in this one. So you get pearl, sun glow, and a bronze. Perfect. So this is all you need. So if you don't buy a ton of makeup and you're looking for like a one and done type of thing, this would be perfect because you get three of them in one palette. So this will work because you would have three different tones for whatever you're feeling on that day. So yeah, I'm happy to have that. Then y'all, I'm gonna get into some items I got from the outlet when I was in Boston recently. My husband was on a business trip, so of course, you know, I tagged along. So we left on a Sunday and he had to be there all week for a conference, so it lasts through Friday. Um, but anyway, we flew into Boston, then we got um, a rental car. So while he was downtown at the convention during working hours, I was all around town in a rental car. And y'all, I ain't scared to go nowhere. Nope. I was at the outlets, shopping, doing things, you know. You know, I worked out during the day at the hotel. I went to like a TJ Maxx there. So while he was there during the day, I was venturing off little places because I know shopping is not really his thing. So while he was at the conference, I did my little going around shopping type deals. And then when he would get out, you know, I would pick him up and then we would go like dinner and, you know, different places like that. So anyway, I say all that to say that I went to an outlet and I'll put the outlet name up on the screen. It starts with a W in Boston, but I forgot what it's called. But anyway, I purchased some items there. So the lady inside of the company cosmetic store, which is one of the stores that I went to, she was so nice um, because anything over $50, she could ship it back to you for free. And one of the items I wanted was a candle out of there. And I didn't have it at my um, company cosmetic store. So she shipped it back to me. And the lippies and the eyeshadow palette, I just took back with me here is the items I got from the company cosmetic store. They had a Tom Ford palette, which I can't seem to resist Tom Ford palettes. I don't know why, because I have so many. This one is in 02 Tropical Dust. This one is in that limited edition packaging. It comes in the white little dust bag have the two little brushes they just fell out here is those shades right there and anything that um is not showing up i'll be sure to insert like a picture definitely will be doing a look with that then i picked up a lip gloss which i love tom for lip glosses this is in number 24 honeyed coral right here and it's a beautiful shimmery like coral shade right here it looks a little deep but it has a nice shimmer to it so i can't wait to try that one out and again that's honeyed coral number 24 and then next, y'all, one I had been looking for for a while at the CCO because this was a popular shade and I had it before and y'all, 
either I lost it. I know I used a lot of it up, but I think I had a little bit left and I can't seem to find it. This is in number 14, Sable Smoke, y'all. It is by far my favorite nude from Tom Ford. When it comes to lipsticks, I have one that's part of his shine collection lip shine collection which is a little bit more glossy and that one's called bear which is also my favorite and i think that one's been discontinued but this one you can still get y'all it's the perfect nude y'all hopefully y'all can see that so cute y'all if y'all ever want the perfect nude check out uh sable smoke Again, it's by far one of my favorites from Tom Ford. So I picked that one up. Then also, while in the company cosmetics store, I came across this duo from Tom Ford. One of the lippies in here I already have, but the other one I don't have. So I wanted that other one so bad. And she didn't have it like where it was sold separately. So here it is right here. Hopefully you can see that on the back. And it comes like this. So this is their Soleil lip set. Which is why it comes in that gold. So you get the one right here with the like gold shimmers in it. I already have this. But the one I was most excited about was this one here. That's that pink and it has shimmers on it, you guys. So, so beautiful. So, yeah, I definitely wanted this one. I swatched it on my hand and I was like, yeah, I have to have that one. So, I got this little set. Then, I also picked up from Bobby Brown. They had in there this um little lip balm in this like little tin set and what drew me to this lip balm it said that it had spf 15 in it and it looks like this right here it comes in this little tin and then you just twist the top off and there is your lip balm right there and can't wait to try this out because i love bobby brown i think this was like on sale for like 19 dollars um it was such a good deal and then last but not least what i wanted the most when i saw it was this candle y'all y'all know how i feel about tom ford candles i have a few of them in my collection but i did not have the rose prick i do have this fragrance but i didn't have the candle and i love 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 the fragrance so this was the item that she shipped to me i'm gonna go ahead and open it oh my gosh tom Ford candles just project y'all you can smell them before you even open the package and look at that one this one is getting ready to go in this room right here i call this my pink room and so this one is getting ready to go in my pink room right here you guys and it's gonna smell so good y'all this is so good oh my gosh y'all i have one of these in my bedroom i have them in every room except for this room i had the baccalaureate in this room but baccalaureate is about to be switched out for this one yes this again is tom ford rose prick it's such a bougie candle but yes it's good y'all it's good so i'm glad i picked this one up and was able to get a discount off of this one and the day i was shopping i was actually able to get 50 percent off of retail for this one they typically on tom ford does anywhere from 30 to 40 percent but that day since my order went over a hundred dollars they were given 
50% off. So I got 50% off of everything. And then they also gave me this item for free, which is one of those Estee Lauder face creams here and I've had this one before they gave me for free and I used it up so I'm glad I got another one here it is right here and I love the Estee Lauder creams y'all so there's what that looks like but yeah I'm glad to have Next, this y'all in that same outlet in Boston was the first time I ever saw a L'Occitane outlet and from there, I picked up an item that was discontinued on the L'Occitane website. However, they had it in the outlet. And I picked up a large hand cream. Now, this one has almond in it. It's called Almond and Flowers. But what i can say about this one i'm not big on their almond shower gel i don't like it it's too strong this one smells floral so even though it has a hint of almond in it it smells more like flowers which is why i love this one and i picked it up and the ladies there in that boston location they were so so nice like the lady in that CCO, she was like, if you ever need anything, you know, just text me and I can let you pay online and ship it to you. And so did the lady in the L'Occitane. So I got all of their information. It's good to connect like that. We had such a good time. And so, yeah, I got this big old hand cream. And it smells so, so good. I'm actually going to put some on now. Yes, it smells so good, y'all. I don't smell a lot of the almond in there. It's really light, y'all. And I really, really love this one. And actually, I picked up two other items from her that is currently in my handbag i think let me see it was in my mini pochette so here it is and she said it was from like a christmas collection but it gave me gingerbread vibes the smell of it and it's a light light scent but it smells so good and so i got it in the hand cream and the balm and i've been keeping that in my little mini pochette and then next at that Boston outlet they had a Lululemon outlet and y'all don't come for me because yes I'm still buying Lululemon I know some people feel some type of way because of the founder of Lululemon had some negative things to say and I'm not gonna give this fool any light nor am I even going to mention his name because he's not worthy of that. Now, there's been some controversy because the founder of Lululemon had some things to say as to he didn't want the company to go in the direction of diversity and inclusion. Thank God he doesn't speak for Lululemon today. He hasn't been with that company since 2015, which is why now we have someone in place that is putting diversity and inclusion into Lululemon. So, for that reason, y'all, I'm buying Lululemon. I'm supporting Lululemon still because that man got himself in trouble back in 2015 saying little things so that's why he's not even a part of this company anymore so who cares what this fool says i don't care so anyway i digress i stopped at the outlet and i got me two little lululemon hats i had a good experience in there too the lady was so nice and she discounted one of them wasn't marked on sale but she was she discounted it down anyway because they looked exactly the same and then y'all i got these skinny scrunchies in a six pack so every color is on here except for the black one which is in my hair right now 
they were on sale at the outlet for 19 bucks and the two hats if i'm not mistaken i think they were 20 bucks on sale um so yeah that is what i picked up from lululemon and then at that same outlet in boston i hopped on over to adidas i found this little cute little belt bag for eleven dollars that i thought would go perfect with my sneakers that i bought from nordstrom's the pink and the green ones um from that nordstrom anniversary sale so i picked this little belt bag up i think this is the last thing i got from boston and y'all already know i collect the starbucks um, Discovery series is what they call it now. It used to be called Been There series mugs, but yeah, I picked this one up from Boston. I do collect them by state, so instead of getting the Boston one, I got the one that says Massachusetts. And yeah, that is my new Discovery mug. And then while I was in Boston, y'all, it was the perfect time. I was sitting in the hotel and these Stanleys launched online. This is the collaboration of the Stanley and the Love Shack Fancy. I think these came in like four different designs. And this one right here that I'm drinking out of is the 20 ounce tumbler they came in the 40 ounce which is the really really large one and i have a large stanley of that one that's like a pearlized pink and i keep it sitting in my office because it's not something that i'm going to leave the house with because it's just so heavy so i tend to get the 20 ounce so again the day these launched i was in boston in the hotel my husband was already at his conference and I was just sitting there waiting because they didn't launch into noon. So I had everything already in my cart, ready to check out. And so at 12 o'clock, I just clicked on it. I was in there to check out y'all. And in six minutes, I checked out. I went back to the website and like the large ones, everything was sold out. So these and the large ones was sold out and the only thing they had was the water bottles left. So I'm glad I was able to pick up my two. They came in this lovely little dust bag. Each one of them had their own little dust bag. And here is the other one I got also in the 20 ounce size so there are my two little stanleys y'all and i'm glad i was able to get these next y'all i picked up some items from nordstrom rack um i picked up some more scrunchies and these were on sale they're from market fresh beauty and it comes with six skinny scrunchies in it and these are all black so, let's show you what those look like. So, they look like this. And I love, like, these, like, scrunchies, like this one and the Lululemon ones. Because you can just throw them in the wash. And they're back to normal. And I love that they don't pull on your hair or anything like that. So, yeah, I have some scrunchies now to last me. And next, y'all, I picked me up four new flip-flops. Now, I'm a flip-flop girl. And I picked these up. They had a lot of their different style flip-flops on sale for $14. So, I picked up this nice floral pair here. And... I wear these not just to the beach, y'all. I wear these running around, out and about. I love a flip-flop. So, this was the first pair I got. And they're just open because I just tried them on just to make sure they fit. And they do. I got a 7, 8 in all of the styles. So, here's the next one here. 
and we'll just open this one. And this one has like a little thinner band here, but it's a black pair of those Javianas with a little floral print in the inside. Just came with that off it. And then my next color was a white and a navy. And look at those. I love how they have the little gold detailing right there. And if they're still on Nordstrom Rack, I'll definitely link them below. And the last pair I got was a square at the front, again, with the thinner strap. And these are in a bronze-like finish there and I don't know if you'll see it it says Javiana right there but that's those next let me just go into this Bath and Body Works bag here because I picked me up some new candles I saw for the fall and one of the ones I'm burning downstairs, which is no surprise to you, it's my Frozen Lake. That's one of my favorites, all-time favorites too. But I picked up this new one called Fresh Fall Morning. It looks like that. And it does smell like a fresh morning scent. And this one has citrus zest, woodland sage, and red delicious apples so that's the description of that one then i picked up this next one called sugar lemon and spice saw this one and smelt it and thought it was nice mm, gives you that lemon kitcheny smell but it has a spice in it and i want to say the spice smells like cardamom to me maybe that's what's drawing me it is so it's lemon zest fresh cardamom and sugared ginger is the description of this one and it smells so good that's what drew me to it i love cardamom and then this last one here is called salted amber and vetiver that's that one and this one mm, oh my gosh that one smells so good this one is described as salted amber fresh orange that's what that smell was that um mandarin type smell i was smelling you know i love that um and then rich vetiver Oh my gosh, y'all. That one smells so good. I can't wait to burn those, y'all. They smell so good. So those are the ones that I got from Bath and Body Works. And then next, y'all, this was so cute. Me, my brother, and my niece was in the mall. And I was taking my niece um, school shopping. And my brother bought me these little earrings he saw in one of the stores that she went in. He came and gave me these. They're a pair of butterfly gold hoops. And so these are so cute and I thought this was such a nice gesture for my brother to buy these for me because you know and he knows I love butterflies and he always buys me butterfly things so it was so nice of him to do that next y'all online I saw these jeans on sale at Revolve and I love mother jeans. I've shared some here before that I picked up from Nordstrom Rack. They had this like tinted purple pair on sale, y'all. They were all the way down to $64. I will link them if they're still on sale at Revolve. But they are gorgeous, you guys, on. So that's what they look like. What drew me to them was not only the sale price, but it was that it had this like purplish tint to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. They called it purple paisley, but it looks like just like a regular jean, just like with a hint of purple on it. 
and they're high waisted the only thing is because they didn't come in petite you see me have them rolled up at the end that's where it ends for me i'm gonna have to take them into nordstrom's and i have some alteration credits so yeah i'm gonna have them to hem them for me and everywhere else fits it's just that they're too long so that is what i picked up from revolve right there next i was in target and i was shopping for school supplies for my grandkids my two grandkids that go to school i have three grandkids total one of them is not school age but the other two are so um we bought all their school supplies and we also buy all of their clothing too so anyways i was in target getting all of the supplies from their school list and when i came in the door in that five dollar section was this pumpkin y'all <laughs> And I don't know if you'll be able to tell. So it's a pink pumpkin. I thought it would be cute for this room. And then the bottom half of it is green. I don't know if it'll pick up. But it is pink at the top and a little green sprayed at the bottom there. And I thought it was so cute. And it lights up, you guys. You just will pull this little piece out and click the button. And it'll light up. And then also in that $5 section for $5, I picked up this little pillow to put in my office when I'm decorating my little ledge there for fall. And it's one of my favorite sands. And it's, hey pumpkin. So I was so excited just to see this on a pillow because I say it all the time. So I say, hey, beautiful, hey, pumpkin. People who know me know I say this. So, yeah, it was nice to see it on a pillow. So, of course, I picked that up. So I picked those two items up from Target. And next, y'all, I took my mother into Burlington. And y'all, y'all ain't gonna believe this. Your girl found her two pair of Hermes slides and y'all the first pair i'm getting ready to show you i've been rocking so hard y'all and wearing every day because they are so sparkly and pretty and they are a hermes shoe that i originally wanted to get and i got another one and I wish I would have stuck with what I stuck with. And I'll get into that. But anyway. Burlington. I picked up these y'all. Can you see the sparkle on these? Y'all they are like a rose gold. And they are so sparkly and pretty. And you know they remind you of the Hermes Shipri Sandal which again that is the only sandal that i really wanted from hermes and back when i wanted it so bad it was so so hard to get so i end up getting the one that everybody gets and the verdict is still out on that and i'll tell you why <laughs> but anyway i picked these up at burlington and they're made by mud and they are also oh comfortable I haven't even tried on the Hermes version of these to see if they're comfortable um, but these y'all are so so comfortable so I've been wearing these already y'all and I love them and so the next pair that I got from Burlington and like here is the receipt here so I'll tell you how much they cost these y'all was only $16.99 at Burlington the other pair of Hermes sandals I got are these another sparkly pair right here 
that looks like that Oran. These are made by Steve Madden. These were $17.99, but if you can see up close, it is very sparkly and pretty, and they feel better than the Hermes ones. Let me tell you that, because I have worn the Hermes sandals like this, the Orans, and y'all, I wore them one time, and I put them back in the box. So, again, when I originally bought these, I was going in to get these, which was the Shipri. But they didn't have them in stock because I knew I have a wide foot and I just knew this would be more comfortable. So, I was going in there to try that on. They had none. I couldn't try it on anything. They didn't have any in the downtown D.C. boutique when I went in there. But they had the Aron sandals in there. And I tried them on. And I initially said, oh, these are nice. And was walking around in them. And then me and my husband was going out one evening. And I had on a sundress. And I put these on. And y'all, an hour after we were already out right here on the side of my foot it just started hurting y'all I just knew then that I wouldn't buy another pair of these sandals because I wouldn't sacrifice my foot hurting and not being comfortable just to look good your girl is not gonna do it so, it also has to be comfortable and wearable for me. And right now, I can say these around sandals are not. Now, someone told me to put on socks and walk with these on so that the leather stretches. And then, once it stretches, you'll be fine. But I just said I'm going to take them to my shoe guy, my cobbler, and have him to stretch the leather and see if that works out a little bit better. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And I have to say, I was a little disappointed in myself because I paid this amount of money for a pair of shoes that's not even comfortable for me. So, I digress. I've been having them in the box ever since, but I guess I need to try to get them stretched out so that I can wear them to get my money's worth. Because at this point, I'm pissed at myself. But I found these from Steve Madden for $17.99. That feels way better than that seven or $800 pair of shoes I got right there. But anyway, y'all. Found these lovely shoes in Burlington when I was taking my mother there to get some PJs and things she wanted. Then, as I was in TJ Maxx shopping for my grandkids' school clothes, getting them short sets and things they need for school, I primarily found in like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you know, places like that. So, I was there for shopping for them but of course i found things for myself one being this set from barbie and it's a barbie collection i have the wine glasses like this but i saw these they look like a beer can you guys have seen me with these and i have them in just the clear from crate and barrel but these Barbie ones came like this, two in a pack. And it has Barbie on it. They had two different designs. Look at that. So it has a pink tint and it has the Barbie down the side. And you see how the top part is clear too. And then the straw inside of this one is uh, iridescent. It is so cute. I love that. So let's see. And here is the other one. So I have a pink one and a clear one. Nice. And then also, 
for $14.99. I found this little Barbie football jersey and football season is coming up. In fact, I have two trips in September for football season with my husband and look at that. That is cute. The little football jersey shirt that says Barbie and I thought that was cute for $14.99 from TJ Maxx y'all. So yeah, pick that up. And then also I picked up a handbag which was $29.99. And it's one of those Bottega dupes, y'all. I found in green. I have been seeing so many of these large ones and the smaller handheld version like this one. But I was searching around and was hoping that I would find a green and stumbled upon this green one as I was shopping for my grandkids. And you know I had to instantly throw this one in the cart. The day I was in there, I'll put a picture up if I still have it. But they had this green one, they had a burgundy one, and of course they had the black one. But you've been seeing them in all different colors. It's by the company urban expressions and it's that cute little Bottega dupe y'all so I got a green one I'm excited to have that and then the next item I got from TJ Maxx and it was on sale for $26 at the time and this is one of those travel bags is really squishy and soft i've seen this like in a brown and a black they come in like different colors it comes with a travel strap um attached to it so you can wear it cross body again this is by that urban expression brand and i thought this would be perfect to carry as a carry-on with all my things in it and put under the airplane seat. Now you know I don't wear big bags like this day to day. Even though this one is not heavy because of the material. It's that again wipeable type of material like long shop, um, Like the nylon. So yeah it's not a heavy bag. But yeah I think it will be a nice travel bag. So again it was on sale for that $26. And I thought to pick this one up. So, yeah. Got that, you guys. And can't wait to travel with that. And the last item I was trying to get my niece to get. But she didn't want this color. And I used to buy this brand of backpack for my kids. Just because they were very durable. They last forever. And they came with a warranty. Now my niece ended up getting another Jan Sport one. But she just didn't want this color. But anyway. I saw this green one. So I was trying to get her to get it. Because it was my favorite color. But this wasn't the color she wanted. So I was just like. Okay for $18. I'll get it for myself. And use it for traveling. Y'all. Y'all know how I feel about green. So. Yeah, it's going to be in my collection with all my green things. And then, y'all, I went into Victoria's Secret. I took my niece in there to get her some, you know, undergarments um, for school. And I stumbled upon this jacket for myself, y'all. See? Well, I'm supposed to be taking other people shopping and look at me shopping for myself. But I found this little, cute little half-cut jacket. I thought it would be perfect like to travel with this. It's giving me fall vibes in this caramel brown type color. But anyway, I thought it would be perfect to like travel with this. Throw this in my travel bag just in case it rains or it gets cool. It zips down like this. Again, it's a half one. So it's going to come to your belly. But yeah, I picked this one up and it's that she type material that the water is going to bounce off of it if it rains or anything like that. 
So I picked that up for myself because it was on sale for this long receipt. I got one item. The rest of the stuff I bought for my niece. <laughs> um, where was mine? It's called Lifestyle Full Zip. And it's $22.36 is what I paid for it. And then also the lady gave me a coupon here that I can use from September the 5th through the 18th, which gives me $20 off a $50 purchase and a member exclusive of a free mist or lotion. So I definitely will be using that. But yeah, that was the item I got for myself. Okay guys, so that's the end of this haul for you guys. I am so sorry. This is going to be a long one. I will try to cut out what I can, you guys, and shorten it up for you and cut out some of my rambling because I did that in this video. <laughs> but anyway, if you stuck with me this long, thank you so much so so much thank you for returning you guys and before i leave here today i want to give all of you lovely subscribers those of you who have not subscribed all a shout out for showing me love in my last video especially on my nordstrom haul video Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate you supporting my channel the way you do. Whether it's watching it, giving me a thumbs up, subscribing, even clicking on my links to purchase an item. I am so grateful for you. And I saw a lot of you out there loved my Prada Sunnies and you clicked on that link and purchased you a pair. Again, I am so thankful for you, you guys. And that's a great way to support this channel and keep me motivated. I am truly grateful for that. So, I'm going to put on my Prada Sunnies that y'all purchased too. And I'm going to head on out and do me a couple errands, you guys, that I have to run. And then I'll be back home to cook me and my husband some dinner. But, y'all, until the next time, I will see you guys. I love you to pieces. And again, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you.